Hi, I'm Joel Kutchmark. I'm your golf course superintendent here at Tacoma Country and Golf Club. Today we're uh, out here on the 13th hole. It's a beautiful fall day and this is a great example of a typical bunker here at the club and I want to talk to you today about basic uh, etiquette and maintenance of a bunker. We're going to talk about rake placement and how to enter and exit the bunker. First I want to talk about rake placement. You see this rake here is placed where we would like you to place the rakes and that is on the gradual face of the bunker where you should enter and exit the bunker. Also you can see the way it's placed entirely in the bunker so that we can mow around this in a timely manner without having to get out and move the rakes. So the entire rake needs to be in the bunker and we like to have it so the handle is just on the inside so it's easy to reach. Also the handle is above the sand so that when your ball enters the bunker the rake's going to have a least likely likelihood of interfering with your shot. Now when you're entering or exiting the bunker never choose the the high steep face to do that. Not only could you probably hurt yourself or fall trying to get in and out of the steep face, but if you go in here like this, you're really going to disrupt the bunker face, which we're trying to keep firm so that balls don't ever plug here. And you never want to exit here, obviously, for that same reason that now when we try to rake and repair this area, this is going to be a soft spot. It's going to be a problem for us maintenance wise, and it could end up in a fried egg live for the next guy behind you. So what I like to do is grab the rake out of the bunker on your way to the shot and then I always just kind of leave my rake here before the shot so I don't have to go looking for it when I'm done. So after you've hit your shot, which I'm going to attempt here, So after you've hit, then you rake your way out. And the main thing here is just to remember to leave the bunker a little bit better than you found it. Always remembering the guy behind you that's gonna hit in. Leave the bunker in such a way that you would wanna find it when you hit your shot into there. So lastly, after you've raked your way out of the bunker, tap your shoes and get all the bunker sand off of there so that you don't drag it onto the green when you go to putt your ball. If you can uh, use these tips that I talked about today, it'd be better for everybody. Thanks for watching my Turf Talk video.